So far we have learned how to install Apache, PHP 5, MySQL and Postfix mail server and we also learned how to uh, point your domain to the server so you can make it accessible through the domain name. Now we are going to install our first content management system which is WordPress. To do that we are going to, the first thing we need to do is go to the uh, directory where we went to install the WordPress. In this case we are going to install the WordPress on our newly edited domain which is bollywood5.com. So to do that let's go to the directory of their domain name which is cd slash war slash www slash bollywood5.com slash public underscore html make sure you do not forget to replace bollywood5.com with your own domain name and then press enter now we inside the public html file, uh, folder now let's download the latest version of wordpress directly to your server to do that we have in the pre, uh, in starting we learn how to use the wget command to directly download the files to the server now we are actually going to use the wget command to download the wordpress directly to the server instead of downloading it to the computer and then transferring it to the uh, server so to do that we are going to use the wget command and then the track link to the wordpress file which is wordpress.org slash latest dot tr tar dot gz and then press enter now it is downloading the file and it's already done uh, let's let's extract this file so we can browse the files inside the installation folder to extract the files we are going to use the tar command tar dash dash strip dash components sorry and then the dash x vf then the file name which we want to extract latest dot tr tar dot gz and then press enter now it is extracting all of the files let's see if we, c we have uh, successfully extracted the files or not to check that use the ls command yes we can now see all of the files which were inside the installation folder and now we are going to delete this uh, zip file which was latest dot tr tar and dot gz to remove the that file we are going to use the rm command rm stands for remove and then the file name latest dot tar dot gz press enter now we have removed that file now we are going to create a mysql database so we can begin installing the wordpress script type in mysql dash u root dash p and then your mysql password now we are logged into the mysql server let's use the database name and database create database command to create a new database we have in the previous videos we have learned some of the basic command, uh, mysql commands we are going to use those commands here to create a new database and add a user to the database so first we are going to create a new database type in create space database 
and the name of the database we went we went to create I'm going to call it WordPress enter we have created the uh, successfully created the uh, database called WordPress now we are going to add a username to that database and we are also grant all of the permission so it can uh, it can access the uh, word uh, WordPress database to do that we are going to use the grant all on and then the database name which is in this case is WordPress period and then star and then space 2 and then we are going to add the user I'm going to call it word word user this is the username for the user we are going to create to and we are also going to add the user to the database so it can write the uh, the data to the database and uh, then add localhost and then we are going to add the password identified by make sure you use commas here now we are going to use a password let's say test123 make sure you use a very strong password because this is your database this is where your files are going to be located in once that is done then press enter now we have added the username called word user to the database WordPress. Finally, we can proceed to the uh, installation of the uh, WordPress. And to start this, we open your favorite web browser and go to your domain name, which we have already added to the server. Now it should show, show us the installation page. To start with, we are going to. This is actually going to create the WP config file. Uh, let's start creating this file. Click on the Let's Go button. Now here we are going to add the database which we recently created and the username and the password of the database we carry the uh, database which was WordPress and the username was word user and the password was test123 and the database host is, this, is the same then press submit if you see this error this is very normal there is nothing to worry about uh, this is sh showing us that the WordPress is not able to write the WP config file directly so we are going to copy this text and we are going to use the nano editor to add this all of this text to the WP config file make sure you are the in in the directory where our files are located to go to the directory type in the CD command then war slash ww slash your domain name find.com and then the public html directory now we are inside the public html directory let's see if we can see the wp config file here um, As you can see, there is no WP config file, that's why it was showing us the error message. So, we are going to create the uh, WP config file using this 
uh, all of this text to do that we are going to use the nano command nano wp dash config dot php now we are inside the nano editor we are going to paste all of this text inside the editor make sure you select all of this text and go back to putty and then paste the text and then use control o to save press enter and control x to exit the editor we have successfully created the wp config file now hit the run the install button there we go it is successfully connected to the mysql server now it is asking us to add the site title and the username to access our wordpress script and the email address i'm going to put some random text here volume 5 and the username is admin Start. password and then your email address and press the install wordpress button we have successfully installed wordpress on our server let's check the home page of our site yes that's it for this tutorial we'll learn some more things in the next tutorials see you next time